So the next app that you're going to want to set up is T-Sheets. That's how you're going to clock in and out and kind of see what your hours are on each project. Uh, you're going to get a text message or an email. So just click on the link that you get. It's going to come from 313-131 if it's a text message. So you'll click on that and then you'll set up a password. Um, I'll just type in a dummy password. You need one capital letter. Let's do painting, one, two, three, maybe an add sign, joint account. And then it's going to bring you to um, the app area so you can download the app. So I'll get that downloaded. I'm going to go back to my home screen. It's right here. So I like to organize all of my work apps in one area. So I'll just take this and move it over into my work area. It's where we have our scheduling app. I have a lot of other apps that I use, but you should only have two, maybe three apps. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on T-Sheets. So this is the screen that we're brought to. We just have to click um, sign in where it says I already have an account. Um, type in the email that you would use to set up your account and then type in your password so we had painting one two three add sign sign in I can enable touch ID so I can log in faster Need notifications so now this is the app that uh, you would use to sign in so you're gonna have um, your timesheets available here your time card and the time card is where you're gonna clock in and out so you always have to select a job when you clock in that's how we know how many hours go against the budget for that job and then just click clock in so I'll just uh, select Aaron Penn as an example, and I'll click clock in. And it does need to use your location while you're clocked in, so just so you're aware. Um, so we need to enable location. So we're going to go to the app settings and location, and we're going to click always. We'll go back to the app. We'll try clocking in here. Okay, it's got us clocked in now. Aaron Penn. It's got our GPS location. Um, so let's say that you're going to clock out for break. Let's say you're leaving to go somewhere um, for lunch. You just go ahead and click clock, clock out. When you get back to the job site, click clock in. And then of course, when you're done for the day, click clock out. The remainder of this video is for foreman only and it uh, demonstrates how to manage timesheets and add jobs. Now as a foreman, you have two additional options more than um, a standard painter has and that's to adjust timesheets for the crew um, that works underneath you. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So you just click on timesheets at the bottom here. It's the middle button. And then it's going to list your timesheet where it says my timesheets highlighted in blue. You just have to click over to all timesheets. That's going to allow you to click on somebody, let's say if they had clocked in or out at an incorrect time. You can click on their name. So I'm going to click on Fabronio right here, um, Friday, March 27th, the last clock in. He was clocked in from 9.30 to 3.30. So if I wanted to adjust that, I would click the three little dots in the upper right corner. And I would click Edit Timesheet. And then I would click on either the start or the end time, whichever one I wanted to adjust. I'll click on the end time. And then I can move that to a different time.
the other thing that a foreman might need to do um, before starting a job, the job name has to be inside of T-Sheets. So you would click on More on the bottom tab here. Uh, click on More, and then where it says Manage Jobs, click that. And then click on the plus sign in the upper right corner. That's going to allow you to enter a job name. It says Assign To. I'll just uh, put Example in here. And then where it says Assign To, you have to click on Everyone and click Save Job. If you only click Me, then everybody else that's uh, working on that job won't see that job available. So it has to click, you have to click Everyone. Um, and then you just click Save Job. So now that job should show up here. Right there. So if I were to try to clock in, click on my time card, and I wanted to clock in here, and then wanted to, let's say, clock in under the job name example, and we just go ahead and clock in. So again, that access is only available to foremans. It's not available to painters. Um, so I'll go ahead and clock out. But that more or less is how you use uh, T-sheets.